Well, tonight, 530, a Thousand Oaks woman who has lived in the same mobile home for over three decades is being forced out of her home. She says developers are looking to expand and want her out. And now the community is rallying around her to keep her from living on the streets. CBS 2's Christine Lazar shows us the 72-year-old remains filled with optimism despite all the obstacles. It's been my home for all these years. Dee Jackson is called Space 13 inside this trailer park in Thousand Oaks home for 35 years. And I moved in with five large dogs. The 72 year old has always been a dog lover. She works part time as a groomer to supplement her social security. There's so many things to be grateful about. But in four months, what Dee will need is a new place to call home. This mobile home park was sold to a developer who plans to expand the apartments next door. But I understand they want to make money just like we all do. One by one, these neighbors have all relocated over the past year while the property was up for sale. She is now the last inhabitant of the mobile home park. Her modest trailer sits alone, dwarfed by the apartments and surrounded by dusty, empty lots and construction vehicles. Dee only pays 600 a month to live here. Even low-income housing nearby is more than twice that. I just put myself on a list, and one of the lists, I'm 89th. The developer has offered Dee a hefty settlement to move, and she says he has given her more time to find a new place. One of her clients started a fundraising page to help raise money for Dee's relocation. Part of the problem is that her trailer is nearly 60 years old and too old to move. We've got to find a place. I mean, otherwise I have my car. So how does Dee, sitting all alone here in a once bustling mobile home park, stay so optimistic? I'm safe. I'm living in the greatest country in the world. Experts say California is losing thousands of mobile home spaces each year as developers buy up the property. And living in a mobile home is some of the most affordable housing we have here in Southern California. In Thousand Oaks, I'm Christine Lazar, CBS 2 News.